Welcome to this guided meditation with Father Mark, your guide for a more intimate and transformative connection with Christ. Please pause, play, and adapt this aid to facilitate your own personal conversation with the Lord. Well, let's begin this time of meditation when we focus our hearts and minds on conversation with the Lord. Take a moment to quiet your heart, focus your mind, take a few deep breaths to hold in and after time let out as a way to relax and focus your body so that your mind can enter into dialogue with the Lord, your heart, your soul. So let's begin in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Jesus, I come into your presence now, joyful and, and happy, eager, Lord, knowing that prayer is what gives energy and health to all, my whole life, my whole soul, that it's the most important thing I do during my day, and so I'm glad to be in your presence, Lord. I activate my faith, my belief in you, you're here with me. You want to speak to me, Lord, and so I want to hear you and listen to you. I hope in you, Lord. I'm confident and trusting in you that you are faithful to your promises and everything you've said will come true. Your promise of eternal life, your promise of blessing and goodness, I hope in that. In fact, I see it already, Lord, how you are faithful to your promises with all the blessings that you've given me. And I'm grateful for them. I love you, Lord. I love you for who you are, not for what you give me, not for the way you bless, not for any gifts that you give, but for you. Because it's just just, Lord, that I love you. You've created me. You've blessed me. You've given me life. And I'm eventually going to return to you for all eternity. And so loving you is the only sensible thing. And I'm grateful. Grateful for everything that you give, all the ways you bless all the human and spiritual qualities you've given me, for my vocation, for the souls you've given me relationship with, you've entrusted me with their spiritual care and flourishing. I thank you for that trust, for that confidence. And I humble myself before you, Lord. In this prayer, I'm your creature. I'm a sinner. I'm in need of your grace. And I'm all yours, Lord. So I humbly come before you, giving myself to you. Praying that beautiful prayer. Take, Lord, receive all that I have and possess. My memory, my understanding, my entire will. Give me only your love and your grace. That's enough for me. Lord, now that I'm in your presence, aware of your presence, connected with you and my heart, my mind and my emotions, turn my attention to the gospel reading today. Pray that you would speak to me through these words of your scripture. At that time, Jesus exclaimed, I give you praise, Father, Lord of heaven and earth, for although you have hidden these things from the wise and the learned, you have revealed them to little ones. Yes, Father, such has been your gracious will. All things have been handed over to me by my Father. No one knows the Son except the Father, and no one knows the Father except the Son and anyone to whom the Son wishes to reveal him. Come to me, all you who labor and are burdened, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you. Learn from me, for I am meek and humble of heart. You will find rest for yourself. 
for my yoke is easy and my burden is light. Jesus, I want, like you, before the Father, to give him praise. Give him praise for all the things he does in the hearts of people that I know, all the holiness that I discover, all the ways that God the Father is working. Jesus, I want to imitate your prayer here and give Father praise for all the ways he reveals himself to the little ones, to the simple, to the poor, to the humble. It is a great mystery, Lord. So many times I encounter souls desirous of you, but really for themselves. And sometimes you don't reveal yourself as much to them. And then there are others that are simple, maybe even disinterested, don't, aren't looking for anything, but you just flood them with your knowledge. It's a mystery, Lord, but I give you praise. It's your will. And I marvel and, and I praise you for it. It makes me also think, Jesus, I need to have more of a heart that's that's discovering your hand in the everyday things, that's attentive to your action, that's not so absorbed in the activities of the day that my heart is unable to detect your hand, to see your loving face as it appears in people and places and things and creation, things I read and see. Lord, give me a a humble and supple heart like Jesus had to rejoice when I see your action, to celebrate it. And whether I see it in others or even when I see it in my own heart, my own life, to be humble enough to take stock of your blessings in my life, to rejoice in those things and to give you glory. And I rejoice, Jesus, too, with these words that you reveal your son, you reveal Jesus to the many souls. It's true that no one knows Jesus except the ones the Father reveals him to, and and no one knows the Father except the one the Son reveals him to. And so I, I rejoice in the fact that you reveal yourself continuously. It's true that my heart can notice more easily the evil, the sin, the failures of people, the problems in society, and I can notice the black mark on the white wall so frequently and be absorbed there and not see and rejoice in all the ways you are at work. You are acting. You are transforming situations. Your love is present in so many good souls. Those that know you, those that practice the Catholic faith, and those that you are helping your grace, your knowledge, your love arrive to them, even if they aren't directly connected sacramentally to the church, but people of goodwill throughout the whole world that your grace is reaching. I rejoice in all that goodness. And finally, Jesus, I want to meditate on that invitation to come to you. When I feel labored and burdened and looking and needing rest and consolation, I want to come to you, Jesus. Find you. Rest like St. John. Rest on you. Lean against your sacred heart. Learn from your heart that's always giving, that's always loving, that's always forgiving that's generous, it's meek and humble. Lord, you are my source of rest and not so many other things that I might chase to find rest. Where I immediately want to please or or satisfy more immediate desires, desires to judge, desires for revenge, desires for for satisfaction or relaxation or or avoidant behaviors, anything, Lord, that is often a cop-out, an an easy solution of artificial search for rest. When you offer me the true source of rest, that Sabbath rest, that rest for my soul, rest for my heart, 
and thus also a rest for my body, my whole person. So when you invite me to come to you, Lord, I want to come to you. I know that that is the source of rest, of renewal. And thank you, Jesus, for opening up your heart to me and giving me access to that true source of rest through prayer, through the sacraments, through the mass, through spiritual readings, through conversations with good people, through inspirations you send to my heart. So many ways that we are connected. So thank you, Jesus, for that. And help me seek it more. Give me that the discipline that it takes at times to, to raise up my wounded nature, my tendency towards the immediate, and to raise it up to you and to find true rest in your soul, in you. And so I want to take these last moments to reflect as long as it takes to just be in conversation with you, Jesus. And then as I end, I want to formulate a, a resolution for the day, a way that I can carry this invitation to rest into the rest of the day. And so I, I give some time to meditate before I, I close my time of prayer to formulate that resolution and promise to Jesus. To, to fulfill that act as an act of worship, but also as an act of ongoing transformation, of conversion of heart, so that my time with Jesus is leading towards a change in me to become more and more like him. Amen. This has been a guided meditation with Father Mark Haydu of the Legionaries of Christ. If this has helped you, please consider sharing it with a friend, along with the other meditations, homilies, and talks found on the Legionaries of Christ podcast, located on all major platforms, or go to rcnytristate.org for links.